Hey y'all and welcome to Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this super cute Happy Fall Y'all sign using mostly Dollar Tree products. First step in the project is to glue these Jenga blocks together. I'm going to be doing four across, five down, four across, and then five up to basically create a frame. And often I like to use wax paper if I'm painting or gluing because I feel like it helps it not stick to the surface. And I almost always have a wet paper towel or like a baby wipe or something like that handy. So in case I have any seepage or anything like that from the glue, I can easily wipe it off and quickly wipe it off. So now I'm going to let this frame kind of set and dry while we work on the next step. The next step is to paint your canvas. I'm using Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. It covers really, really well, and it, I think it's just going to help the letters to pop. I found these free printables online. I'll link them below. I'm using the one that says Happy Fall, y'all, but you do have other options. And I'm going to put some chalk on the back of that paper because I'm going to use that as kind of like a tracing thing. I don't know what you call that. But anyway, I'm going to trace those letters out, and then I'm going to go back with a white paint pen and color in those letters. And now I'm prepping to glue on my frame but first I'm going to add these beads and just to kind of give it like a little extra flare got to kind of figure out how I want them to set on there once I get that settled then I can move on to gluing I am going to be using E6000 to glue the frame down because I do want it to stay I don't want it to fall off and I guess I could have used hot glue but I didn't so um, now I'm going to place the beads onto where I want them to be and then I'm going to place the frame on top. And you just kind of got to be careful. You do have a little bit of time to kind of wiggle ar things around and kind of make sure they're in the right spot, but don't wait too long because it starts to, to set. I'm just going to clip off the little ends here so that it looks nice and neat and ready for the next part of how I'm going to embellish this. So originally I had put these leaves on. I do like the leaves, but I ended up not liking the leaves. I just I wasn't really happy with how it was turning out. You know how you just don't like the look? Like it's just not doing it for you. So I took all those leaves off. And of course where I had glued them on, it left little dots where it had taken off some of the paint. So I'm just going back in again with that Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal and kind of painting over those areas that need touching up. Now I'm going to take my orange paint pen. I found these little wood stickers at Hobby Lobby and I used my coupon to get them on uh, at a discount. Anyway, I'm using the orange paint pen to color in four of the pumpkins. These pumpkins do have a little like sticker on the back. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I, I ended up, I tried to use it, but I thought, no, it's not going to really stick very well. So I ended up just taking them off with my little blade cutter thing and I'm gonna end up hot gluing those onto the surface. I put this out on my front porch and originally thought I'm gonna put some pumpkins around it but I think it just kind of like you can't see the little pumpkins. So um, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it but I love how it turns out and I'm trying it next to that tear tray that I love so much in my kitchen. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I had a lot of fun with this one and I feel like it's gonna add just like a little cuteness to my decor. So I'm excited about that. I've popped a couple other videos that you might wanna watch. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.